Hi everyone, I'm McDysis, and this is PN. PN is a Japanese horror game, and it's, uh, I guess, kind of like a an inside joke amongst a lot of uh, the horror community there. And uh, really, the best way I can explain this game is by showing it to you, because this is a very, very weird game. But it's very endearing and very fun. Uh, as you can notice, uh, the buttons are in Japanese, and you have to get this off a Japanese site. But it's free, so uh, if anyone wants to play this game, it's very easy to get if you have some kind of way of translating. So, anyway, time begins once you click on this, and then this is a really short speed, or I think anyone can get into this. All right, three, two, one, let's go. So first things first, uh, the game plays heavily on the mechanic of light flashlights. So we're trying to flashlight in that corner. That gets rid of that guy, and now we can go into this room. Uh, from then, we, you know, don't have an open wall, but we have to look at this paper. This teaches you the general mechanic of PN, which is you have to get rid of these faces. Uh, I like to mash it with E, you don't have to do it. Uh, it is very important to move properly right now. This game is really straightforward, really, really easy. Uh, you just have to know where to go. Those are always in the same spot, so you just kind of go to the three, get rid of them, and then you want to immediately go to the room I'm going to right now. Everything's blocked off, so it's pretty railroaded, and then you'll die. So, there's a project you can do here where if you look up, technically, it could reduce the amount of time, but I found on my end, it's mostly dependent on what graphics card you have. So what we're waiting for is we're waiting for this flashlight to turn on so we can get rid of this face. For right now, though, enjoy the dancers! What is this? It's PN stack design. It's PN. You can post all your favorite dancing emotes. Uh, this could happen as fast as, like, you know, 10 seconds, or it can take, like, 30, depending on your graphics card. Uh, it is heavily based in that. Uh, just keep that in mind. But you can enjoy the dancers. For me, it usually happens on, like, the upcoming, like, pre-course change coming up. Right about now. And that's really consistent. For you, it might be different, but it really depends. And now we're on the next spot. You can notice it's kind of like Slender. You have to get rid of eight. The uh, main idea is that uh, the positions will always be randomized. However, they're randomized in similar locations. So once you kind of learn the layout of the building, you'll kind of realize that every room has one, essentially. And you just kind of need to figure out where they are. And if they're not exactly in the room, they could be on like another outlying wall, or they'll be somewhere around. And it is RNG on where you find these, you know? So very often you're kind of be looking all around going to certain rooms on a pretty, uh, you know, railroaded path, because you want to make sure that you can find them throughout here. It is RNG on how it goes. And yes, this is Avangon Horror. The main thread is the PN guy. Uh, if he catches you, you need to run away until the music stops. Uh, you can also you can see I can kind of find another one right there. Once the music stops, you're safe. Um, turn out the flashlight. Oh, never mind. Turn out the flashlight also helps. You want to make sure that you just kind of keep running away. And then this phase ends once you get all eight. You don't have to do much more. You just need all eight. And like I mentioned, turn out the flashlight is very important to this part. One right there. Alright, ah, uh, he's coming. One more. And I think I saw it back here. These are always randomized, like I mentioned, so you just want to keep tabs of where you got rid of them and where you did them. And then, uh, it should be mostly good. Where did I put the last one? I have no idea. I got a pretty bad spawn this time around. World record? Oh, God, no. I uh, do not have the graphics card enabled for that. I think I saw it uh, back over here. See, I always get the worst time whenever I do these uh, marathon commentaries. I don't think it was in this room. I saw it when he was chasing me. Oh, there he is. You're a nerd. Also, the game's quite nice because even if you end up dying, it's not exactly the most punishing. You're just gonna eat a death, and then it's very, very straightforward. I think it's this room, because I remember getting one in this room. Yep, there it is. Like I mentioned, it can happen on all the walls, so it's kind of randomized. From this point forward, once you get to here, you just want to walk, approach the PN. Because at that point, you'll kind of see his head fly, uh, fly off. Like so. Just buy a 3090. Actually, you still have to, you know, how to you know, move properly and stuff like that. But speed does help. However, I should mention this game is entirely free online. Alright, now we're in the final phase, phase 4. Or phase 3, I guess. I guess it'd be phase 4. Enjoy the dance. 
at this point, uh, I immediately go left. Uh, this is just kind of the good way to go for me. Usually, if I go right, uh, the PN spawns. And now, uh, this time, they're kind of going to be always in the same room. Usually, around there, uh, as you can see, PN spawned. Uh, also, we have more dramatic music now. And PN is no longer chasing me. It's going to mostly be around the same spots. Where is he? I have no idea where he went. So I kind of only make my way to this chair room. If you make it here, you'll find all of them. Um, the first one I missed, though, because, um, you know, as I mentioned, the uh, PN found me. Uh, however, I also want PN to find me. Because if PN's close, I can just kill him once you find all four. And then that's PN. Now, that's actually a really good phase three, but a bad phase two. At this point, time ends once his head explodes. It's four puffs of smoke. So you'll kind of see one, two, three, and then on four, you hit time. So, one, two, three... PN! Also, how you doing, Greeny? Anyway, that's PN. I hope you enjoyed it. It's an incredibly silly game. Uh, casually, you know, it takes probably about like 20 minutes to beat or something. It's fast, so. Enjoy the song. And that was really fast. That was, it is a weird game. It's a Japanese horror game. Based on the crying emoji, pleading emoji. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> How's that totally nine, dude? Realistically, most of your time save will be coming in day two because of the eight pages, or the eight uh, smiley faces kind of thing. Uh, finding those, you know, it can vary. Like, as you notice, I miss some of them because some of them can be in tricky spots, some of them are worse spots than others. So, ideally, if you get good spawns, you can get a really good time. World Record's about like a two, uh, 254, I think. Meanwhile, my lowest time is like a 358. I mean, partly due to the fact that I don't have the fast stuff dance part. But it's pretty fast. Oh, don't, don't do that, Holy Mojo. That's. That's not, that's not kosher. Don't do that. I can kick these. No, I can. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah. I... You're all, you're all good. Just don't, don't be making comments like that. That's not very kosher. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. That's been PN.